Hi again. We're back and we're going to do some more dimensional analysis. This time we're going to be dealing with fractional units and converting from metric to non-metric all at the same time. So kind of like before, what you got to know, if there's ever metric to metric stuff embedded in it, you got to know the prefixes. Otherwise, you can always use your handy dandy physics reference sheet and especially this stuff up here where it has common conversions in case if there's something that you don't know offhand that you don't have memorized and don't feel like you have to memorize but a lot of that stuff you might end up doing it anyhow okay. so let's take a look at this one where it says convert 0 0.0034 centimeters per minute to feet per second so here we go So when I'm doing this problem, I start off again with what they give me, 0 0.0034 centimeters per minute. Notice that it's written this way. Right. You'll notice that when it's written this way, uh, it's kind of like writing a fraction, like 1 over 4, like that. You want it to be on top and on bottom, like 1 fourth written that way. Uh, it goes with your units. Oops. That's. that's because our conversion factors deal with stuff on top and bottom and that's what we need to use and okay. so when I do my conversion factor I'm going to take my units but I notice I have two of them I'm only switching our one unit at a time meaning that I don't cross over the centimeters and the minutes at the same time I can only deal with one of those units in each conversion factor. So I'm going to start with centimeters. So I want centimeters to cancel, so it has to go on bottom. Okay? And I want to get to feet. Well, if I don't know how many centimeters there are in one foot off the top of my head, I can actually use something else that will help me get there. And that could come from my reference sheet. There's a couple of things in here. Okay? I can use the relationship between inches and centimeters, and then I can get to meters, uh, or sorry, and get to feet from inches. Uh, or I can use the feet to meters and get to centimeters that way. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to use the one inches and centimeters. And again, you can do it kind of how you want. but when I'm going from something that has metric to something non-metric, like centimeters to inches, and I don't follow the same rules as before. I have to follow them straight from that reference sheet. So if I have, uh, if the reference sheet says one inch is 2.54 centimeters, that means that one goes next to the inches, and the 2.54 centimeters goes next to centimeters. Okay? Centimeters cancels out. And now the relationship that I know between inches and feet is a little more clear. So inches has to go on the bottom to cancel out, and then feet goes up on top. And, and there are 12 inches and 1 foot. Inches cancel out. I'm good. Now that I have feet and that's what I want in my answer, I'm not going to drop it down anymore. I'm going to keep it right there. And the thing I need to keep or take care of now is the unit at the bottom that I started with. And Here's where I deal with the minutes. Okay? But when I want to cancel it out in this conversion factor, it doesn't go on the bottom. It has to go up on the top because it starts at the bottom over here. So minutes goes on the bottom, and I can put seconds on the bottom for this. Or sorry, minutes on the top, seconds on the bottom. Okay? In the relationship, one minute is 60 seconds. Minutes cancels out, and then I'm left with feet on top, seconds on the bottom that's what I want for my answer so the work is done calculating it out is just like before it's like one big fraction you take all the numbers on top you multiply it so I have 0 0.0034 times 1 times 1 times 1 well that just gives me 0 0.0034 divided by all the numbers on the bottom multiplied together so I have oh boy Let's get out that calculator. Two point 
2.54 times 12 times 60 is equal to 1 8 oops 2 8 point 8 and and if I take point zero zero three four divided by one eight two eight point eight is equal to end up with this one point eight what was it six times ten to the six. Notice that on some calculators it says e negative six. It might show up on your calculator that way too. It means times ten to the six or negative six in this case. My unit is what I was left with feet per second. Okay? And that's my answer. Any other problem beyond this that seems a little more difficult is really just a combination of this and going from metric to metric. You're kind of putting those rules together and solving them out. So you can solve any problem using these methods and okay? just make sure that you know where units are and where they go. The numbers, they follow. So good luck, and I hope this helps.